Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm taking a series of questions um, to help you in your forthcoming exam. Okay, these questions um, are in several of these series. Uh, we are starting, the first is organic chemistry, and uh, we are taking several questions to help uh, you prepare very well for your exam. Okay, so uh, this is the first question, very simple one, organic chemistry, and this is on alkenes. There are five alkene structures, okay, in this question. Okay, let's start to identify these alkenes, then we'll go to the questions. All right, the first one has two carbon atoms, therefore that is ethene. Okay, that is the simplest alkene, actually. Uh, the second alkene has three carbon atoms. Okay, we can name that as propene. Number three, we have we have four carbon atoms right here, and that is butene. Okay, let's just take our time to identify all of these alkenes. Okay, this has five carbon atoms. It is pentene. Okay, the last one, six carbon atoms, and that is hexene. All right. Okay, um, we'll try to get the specific areas of these questions. The first question here is general formula. Okay, uh, our next question will be on molecular formula. Then the last question in this first part is to identify or to predict boiling point. Okay, what to make an alkene have the highest boiling point. All right, let's go with the first question. General formula for alkenes. If you look at the first one, um, there are two carbon atoms, so it is C2, and there are four hydrogen atoms, H4. Okay, the second one right here, it is three carbon atoms. Count the number of hydrogen atoms there. We have six. Okay, let's, let's go for the last one, because this is actually a trend. So um, for the last one, E right here, we have six carbon atoms. And if you count the number of hydrogen atoms, there are 12. So the trend here is actually uh, C1H2, if you look at it carefully. C1H2, from C2H4 to C3H6 to C6H12, okay, the trend is C1H2. So generally, we can say uh, the formulas for, general formula for all our kings will be CNH2N. All right, uh, B, molecular formula for alkene D. This alkene D right here, We've identified alkene D as pentene, okay? Pentene, and that has five carbon atoms. Count the number of hydrogen atoms attached there. We can actually find 10 of those, okay? Molecular formula is C5H10. Just count the number of carbon atoms and number of hydrogen atoms. That should give us molecular formula for alkene D. Okay, uh, for C, boiling point. To get boiling point, we need to look at the size of the alkene or the size of the compound. In this case, we're looking at alkene, so the size of the alkene. Okay, so the larger size, the larger the size, okay, the higher the, the energy needed to actually uh, break the bonds in that substance. So in this case, we have um, alkene E uh, with the largest size, C6H12, okay? So alkene E is C6H12 and that should have the highest boiling point. The reason for this is if you calculate the mass of this substance, you actually find that it has um, 12 times 6, okay, plus 1 times 12, okay, as its mass. Okay, that's, that's the largest mass for all of these compounds right here from A to E. So the explanation here, it has the highest relative molecular mass. Okay, the highest relative molecular mass. Very good. Um, let's go to the next question. Um, if you have any questions, please, you can send it to me. Let's see. The next question here is, which alkene A, B, C, D, or E diffuses most quickly? Okay, for diffusion, diffusion deals with the smaller sizes. Okay, so the smaller the size, uh, the smaller the size or the smaller the density, okay, or the smaller the um, relative molecular mass, the faster the substance moves. Diffusion is about uh, motion, okay? So if you look at the question, 
If you want a substance that diffuses or moves quickly, we need to find the smaller substances. So go back to the question, which has the smallest relative molecular mass? That is what we are looking for. So in the question, look at this. The smallest size is alkene A. All right, so that actually should diffuse fastest because it has the smallest relative molecular mass. Okay, we'll take that as alkene A, and that formula is C2H4. Okay, and that is ethene. The explanation is it has the smallest relative molecular mass. Okay, that is why it diffuses most quickly. All right, the last question here. Uh, okay, a student added aqueous bromine. Okay, let's consider this. Okay, first, this aqueous bromine, it's actually HOBR. Aqueous bromine is HOBR. It can also be called bromine water. Okay, this substance is also known as bromine water, and that is HOBR. So if you add HOBR to an alkene, what should be the color changes? That's what the question is uh, referring to, and we should also draw structures to show the product. Okay, so let's add HOBR to this and see what we are going to form. Okay, HOBR to this. Look at this. Uh, we'll form a structure down here. So HOBR, okay, will break this double bond right here. So let's get um, the structure again without double bond this time. Okay, we're trying to get a linear structure. Let's get a linear structure. So this is CH3 and CH2. So let's get our CH3 and CH2, starting from the right, this part of it drawn out first. Then the HOBR splits, okay? So um, we can get BR right here and our OH right here. Okay, so let's bring in the other hydrogen atoms. Bring in the other hydrogen atoms right there. Okay, and let's fill this up also. This is the structure for the substance and um, the color changes from uh, the color for this substance okay is brown okay once we add the reducing agent the alkene right here is a reducing agent if you add the reducing agent to bromine water we should change the color of bromine water from brown to colorless all right uh, we'll continue with this series, okay? We're answering um, several past questions, okay, um, from all of those years in organic chemistry. When we're done with organic chemistry, we'll go to other aspects of chemistry, but we're starting uh, with this series. Uh, join me in the next part of this. Mm -hmm.